Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is John from Programming Knowledge and in this video guys, we're going to discuss what is pointers and how we can use pointers inside our C program. Okay, so if you're excited guys, please make sure to watch the full video. We're gonna be learning a lot in this particular video and in the succeeding videos about pointers. And guys, if you are new here in our YouTube channel, I am inviting you to subscribe if you like contents about programming. So I am inviting you to subscribe, press the notification bell, so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload. So as I've said guys, we're going to be talking about pointers in um, C programming. So basically, pointers in C are um, you know, easy and fun to learn. So there are some C programming tasks that are performed more easily with pointers. And there are other also tasks such as dynamic memory allocation cannot be performed without um, using pointers. So it becomes necessary to learn pointers to become a perfect C programmer. Perfect C programmer. So if you want to be like almost perfect C programmer, so it is necessary for us to learn pointers okay and let's start learning them in simple and easy steps so as you know every variable is a memory location and every memory location has its own address defined which can be accessed using the ampersand symbol so i think we already used this particular symbol before in our previous tutorials but we're going to you know tackle deeper what is this particular symbol and how we can use this in um, you know working with pointers and it is you know denoting an address in memory meaning the ampersand and for example we're going to define here or create a program that could um, showcase the capability of this operator and um, the basic access to or basic you know access to the pointer address so for example we have a variable int var1 and then we have char var2 which is the length for example is 10 so basically guess as i've said this particular variables these variables uh, has location or has a specific location in our memory and every memory location has its own address so in order for us to verify that we could try to print the address or memory address of these variables so we're going to use printf um, function and then in here we're going to say address of var1 is um, percent x so this is the format specif uh, format specifier when we're trying to display the address of the uh, variable so percent x and then we're going to specify a new line here and then comma and then of course we need to use the ampersand symbol and of course the, the name of our variables if for example the var1 so the address of var1 colon and then percent x the format speci uh, format specifier and then of course specifying ampersand and the name of our variable one and um, we could do also the same for the second one or second variable var2 so percent x and then this will be var2 so this is basically guys trying to test if this particular variables has you know we will just display the um, address of this variable okay so before we run our program let's change first this because i have uh, forget to type uh, number one because this is uh, this is supposing that this particular variable has the length of 10 okay so that's char var2 and then open and close um, square brackets and then um, 10 okay so let's try to build and run our program and as you can see it's going to display the address of var1 is 61 uh, fe1c and the second one will be 
fe12 so that's basically the address of the variables var1 and the var2 so a pointer variable is a variable whose value is the address of another variable okay so for example direct access of the memory location now like any variable or constant you must declare a pointer before using it to store uh, variable address so the typical or you know the general form of pointer variable declaration is just like this we need to specify the type and then the um, asterisk or star symbol or asterisk in other uh, other terms and then of course the variable name so that's how to declare a pointer variable so again we need to specify the type and then asterisk symbol and then the variable name so um, here the type or type is the pointers base type okay and it must be a valid C data type and of course the variable name or the var name is the name of the pointer variable and as you can see guys this particular symbol asterisk symbol is sometimes used to declare um, or use for multiplication process or multiplication um, operation right but in this particular case it is being used as to uh, declare a pointer variable okay now in order for us to declare um, pointer variable based on this particular declaration form so we could say something like int and then percent or i mean the um, asterisk symbol and then the name of our variable so this will be um, pointer pointer to an integer okay and then we have for example double and then the asterisk symbol dp and this is basically the pointer to a double we also have like float and then fp this will be obviously pointer pointer to a float and another thing ch and then this will be a pointer obviously to a character so the actual data type of the value of all pointers is you know a long hexadecimal number that represents the memory address so whether we declare it as int we declare it as double we declare it as float or character so it's going to do uh, it's going to return a long hexadecimal number that represents the memory address now the only difference between pointers of different data type or data types is the data type of the variable or constant that a pointer points to so for example this particular um, variable points to this variable one then it's going to be a bit different because we are referencing to an int variable so let me show you that how you can you know use pointers we could remove this lines okay in var1 we could assign a value to this like 20 and then this this will be the actual actual variable declaration so this particular variable has the value 20 and then we could um, declare a pointer variable so int and then asterisk ip so this is pointer variable declaration so you get to see the difference between this declaration the pointer variable uses the symbol asterisk okay and then of course in order for us to store the address of the variable one into the pointer variable ip we could use ip variable equals 
the ampersand symbol and of course the var okay so basically guys we're just passing the memory address of this particular variable one into the pointer variable ip okay so for example we could print the address of our var one so print f address of var one we could use percent um, x as the format specifier and then backslash n for new line and then um, use the ampersand symbol and then var one so let's try to declare or i mean display first the address of the var one and then we could also this do the same print the address or the value of the pointer variable ip so the value of ip and then percent x backslash n and then the variable ip so let's try this clean and build our program and it should you know display the same hexadecimal, uh, hexadecimal value so address of var1 is 61fe14 and then the value of ip is you know 61fe14 so basically we're just trying to display or i mean store the memory address of var1 into the pointer variable ip okay and of course, if you want to access the value using a pointer, um, we could try to modify our program to access the value. Access the value using the pointer variable. So print f and then value of pointer variable ip so for example percent d backslash n and then asterisk ip so basically we're just trying to access the value of this particular pointer variable so let's try this clean and build our program and as you can see here we have the address of var1 61fe14 and the value of the pointer variable or i mean the address of ip or you know the pointer variable ip 61fe14 and also here we could say that the value of this is 20 which is also the same with our variable one so that's how uh, easy for us to you know use the pointers inside our c program so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video